Good evening. We're ready to begin tonight's political debates. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the 2012 Home Builders Association of Berks County President, Mr. Kevin Cozo. Thank you. Um, the HBA has had a tradition of community involvement for over 50 years here in Berks County. We're not only the home builders, remodelers, trade contractors, and associates. We're your friends, neighbors, and family. As fellow members of the community, we found that no one was holding events like this. So instead of complaining about it, we decided to do something about it. And here we are tonight, so thank you very much. Thank you, Kevin. Again, welcome to the political debates of Berks County, brought to you by the Home Builders Association. I'm Christian Malesic. I'm the executive officer of the Home Builders Association of Berks County, and I'll be your moderator this evening. These are issues debates. My role as your moderator is to make introductions, to help keep time, and to ensure that the questions and answers adhere to the issues. The questions for these proceedings will be asked by four panelists with strong Berks County credentials. As of this moment, each panelist has not shared their, the questions that they prepared to ask with anyone else. Without further ado, the panelists for tonight's debate. Let me introduce to, to you to them very briefly. Jeff Sisher has been a realtor and active in the real estate industry since 1981. He was chairperson of the Association of Realtors Legislative Committee in 2011, served as the Realtors PAC trustee, and is currently serving as the president of that association. Additionally, Jeff is on the board of directors for the state association, the Pennsylvania Association of Realtors. Representing the Reading Burks Association of Realtors, Mr. Jeffrey Sisher. John D. Forrester is the news editor of the Reading Eagle and writes a weekly column. A Burks County native, John has covered politics and government for the Reading Eagle and the Reading Times for more than 43 years. He is married and the father of two grown sons. John lives nearby in Kenhorst. Representing the Reading Eagle newspaper, Mr. John Forrester. <laughs> Deb Kearse is the Vice President of Marketing for Coal Building Products. She has 30 years in the building industry, working with builders and remodelers through Coal's nine locations. Coal Building Products is a member of over 20 business-oriented associations across Pennsylvania. Deb is a member of the Penn State Advisory Board and in her second term on the board as a director of the Grading Redder, Reading Chamber. Representing the Grading Redder, Greater Reading Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mrs. Deb Kearse. David Myers is the founding director of the OPAC Institute for Ethics, Leadership, and Public Service at Alvernia University. The mission of the OPAC Institute is to foster and promote ethical leadership and public service, both at Alvernia University and in the broader community. Immediately prior to moving to Alvernia and Reading, he served as chief of staff and executive director for external relations and economic development at Bucknell University. Dave spent most of his career in and around state government in a number of positions. Representing Alvernia University, Mr. Dave Myers. Our first debate of the evening is for candidates seeking the office of Pennsylvania Senate. The Pennsylvania Senate 11th District seat is currently ha held by the incumbent in tonight's debate, the Honorable Judith Schwenk. The 11th Senate District covers a very long list of towns, boroughs, and townships. 
Essentially, it covers the middle swath of Berks County from north to south. This is from the Kutztown area down to the southernmost tip of the county, including the city of Reading. Allow me to first to introduce to you Karen Mobile, the challenger in, in this debate. Karen is 46, married for 22 years with two children. She is a small business owner for 20 years. She is not a career politician, nor does she plan on being one. She is running because she is a doer and cares about people. Karen cares about what's going on in our state. She is driven on common sense. She believes that will help her do her job. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Karen Mobile. And now the incumbent. Senator Judith Schwenk. Since graduating from Penn State with an advanced degree in agricultural education, Senator Schwenk has taught at the secondary level, directed the Berks County Cooperative Extension, and served two terms as county commissioner. After leaving county government, Judy served as the president of the nonprofit organization 10,000 Friends of Pennsylvania, and later as the Dean of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences at Delaware Valley College until her election to the Senate in 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Judy Schwenk. Before we came out on stage, we did meet the candidates and I, kind of backstage, if you will, and we flipped a coin to determine who would uh, begin the proceedings tonight. Uh, that coin toss was won by the senator, and she agreed to, she decided to open first. So Senator Schwenk will have two minutes for an opening statement that will be followed by Mrs. Mogul. Senator? Very well. Good evening, everyone. It's been a true honor to serve as your state senator. I've learned a lot in my life and career. All of those jobs that I've held, from county agent to your county commissioner, to serving as a CEO of a nonprofit organization, as well as dean of a college, have been perfect experience to position me to serve as your state senator. And let me tell you, having served for about 18 months, it matters if you have the experience. In the Senate, I've been appointed to serve as the chair of the Ag and Rural Affairs Committee, and based on my experience, also serve on local government Ag Land Preservation, and several other committees. After you elected me to fill Senator Opaque's seat, I hit the ground running. I had talked about property tax elimination. Right away, I served as a co-sponsor of legislation to eliminate property tax and formed a caucus in the Senate to deal with that. I also worked on job creation. I formed a business advisory committee to meet with business leaders. I've held sessions with business leaders and made over 40 visits to businesses in Berks County. I made a commitment also to focus on education, and I was really successful in helping to obtain extra funding to restore the money that the governor had taken out of the budget for education. And it's made a huge difference here in Berks County. I've worked with countless elected officials and community leaders to work on improving our community. And like you, I've raised my family in Berks County, and I understand the hard work it takes to keep a family going. As I sat down to prepare my remarks for this, I thought about the things that have been accomplished, and I felt good about it, but I'm not satisfied. I'm anxious to tell you about some of the things that I want to work about, work with you on in the future, and I look forward to the discussion tonight. Thank you very much. Mrs. Mogul, you're opening two minutes. I hope to convey to you that I am an everyday kind of person, that I am very much in touch with the real world. And like my fellow taxpayers, I am tired of allowing our money to be mismanaged. I am convinced that the school property tax must be eliminated. We owe that to the people to be fiscally responsible in doing so. I realize that jobs are a very serious concern, and rightfully so. We need to address the state's high corporate tax the highest in the nation. And this would promote businesses to grow and some to be created if we could get this tax down. Schools are a very deep concern for me. I believe in school choice, 
because there are those who have lost sight of what's really about our children. I would work with the schools to make sure that their funds are being spent wisely. I do not believe that we need to cut teaching jobs or programs, but instead stop trying to build an unnecessary bigger stadium than the one down the road in another district, thus using some of that funding to give the teachers the opportunity for schooling so that they can excel in their teaching ability, ultimately benefiting our children. The state's welfare fraud is out of control, and aggressively addressing that would save, start to save over $4 billion a year, and it would give us some much-needed funding for the elderly, for infrastructure, and or other essential things. I look forward to spending this time today to share my views on various topics that would become my responsibilities if elected to serve you as your senator. Thank you, ladies.